We're obviously tracking uh, Hurricane Florence very uh, closely. We're keeping an eye on it. We're going to come back to it. But this next story we need to tell you about, it would be stunning, frankly, at, at any time. At this moment, though, it's hard to even kind of find the words, because even as millions of people here are living what th could be a devastating, potentially for some, a deadly hurricane, President Trump spoke out again today about Hurricane Maria and Puerto Rico, tweeting, should point out, from the comforts of the executive mansion, he had this to say to anyone who watched a parent die or buried a husband or maybe even a child. And I'm quoting here, 3,000 people, the president tweeted, did not die in the two hurricanes that hit Puerto Rico. When I left the island after the storm had hit, they had anywhere from six to 18 deaths. As time went by, it did not go up by much. Then a long time later, they started to report really large numbers, like 3,000. The president went on to say, this was done by the Democrats in order to make me look as bad as possible when I was successfully raising billions of dollars to help rebuild Puerto Rico. If a person died for any reason, like old age, just add them onto the list. Bad politics. I love Puerto Rico. Well, his words were not an accident. They are, in fact, a lie. And the starkest version yet of a cruel series of self-congratulatory statements and tweets in which a tragedy for millions becomes, by the president's way of thinking, a triumph of one. A triumph of one, because you might remember the other day he called his administration's response to Maria, quote, an unsung success. Don't tell that to Miriam Rodriguez, because her husband, Natalio, was on a ventilator. When they lost power, he lost air, he died. Miriam was not the only one who watched a loved one die unnecessarily. Yet to the president, it's as though her husband, Natalio Rodriguez, never even existed at all. Same for the thousands of other families, American families who lost loved ones, American families who today had to listen to their president lie about how their loved one died. It is unthinkable, really, or at least it should be. The death toll of 2,975 was arrived at by a study that was commissioned by Puerto Rico's governor. It was done by the nonpartisan School of Public Health at George Washington University. They worked on it for months. It follows an earlier survey from a team at Harvard, which estimated nearly 4,700 excess deaths in Maria's aftermath. The George Washington study, which the university, by the way, backed up and reaffirmed today, found that people died from unsafe drinking water, heat, lack of power to run ventilators and kidney machines, lack of access to basic medical care, treatable conditions, horrible ways to die, horror that is invisible, it seems, to at least the president of the United States. And even some of his staunch supporters are not behind him on this. The question is, what does he see that even they don't? Well, we got one answer late today from White House spokesman Hogan Gidley, a statement trying to explain what the president tweeted. I want to read it to you. It reads, as the president said, every death from Hurricane Maria is a horror. Before, during, and after the two massive hurricanes, the president directed the entire administration to provide unprecedented support to Puerto Rico. President Trump was responding to the liberal media and the San Juan mayor, who sadly have tried to exploit the devastation by pushing out a constant stream of misinformation and false accusations. Now, keep in mind, that statement is trying to make the incomprehensible somehow understandable, as if it were somehow normal for presidents to say this sort of thing. It is not. The statement ignores the very words that it purports to defend. The president did not tweet that every death is a horror. He made a mockery of what people saw with their own eyes, what local funeral directors, medical examiners, reporters on the scene, researchers, and first responders all saw firsthand. Americans died from Hurricane Maria and the inadequate response to it. We may not know all their names, but I can tell you their families do. What we know for certain is that the President of the United States has disrespected the dead of Puerto Rico today, and he disrespected the living who will live the rest of their lives with the pain of loss and the pain of knowing that their president, in his heart, does not see their loss for what it truly, truly is. San Juan's mayor, Carmen Yulín Cruz, joins me now. Uh, mayor Cruz, I, I can't imagine somebody who has lost a loved one in Puerto Rico hearing the president of the United States saying that nearly 3,000 Puerto Ricans did not die uh, in the wake of the storm because of the storm. What are you hearing? What went through your mind when you saw what the president tweeted? Well, Anderson, to, to politicize a death count in the wake of Hurricane Florence is despicable. Uh, this is a new low even for President Trump. Now, it is to be expected the president has this ability to make everything about him and to try and belittle and diminish and call fake news or fake facts uh, anything that does not agree with the spin that he's trying to put on things. 
People in Puerto Rico are irate, they're furious, and mostly they're appalled. They, they can't even understand, first of all, why or the president of the United States facts don't seem to matter and truth don't seem to matter. Uh, you know, he talks about the Democrats being the ones uh, that did this to him, and, and he includes myself. It's almost as if he suffers from uh, the world is against me complex or, or a conspiracy phobia. Uh, you know, no one has to make the president look bad when it comes to Puerto Rico. He did that by himself when he neglected to do what he had to do. And, and my fear now is that rather than uh, focusing himself on North Carolina and South Carolina, that he continues this, this tirade of self accolades and that he continues to think that he's doing everything right and people will die in those two states because of that. You know, I, I mean, if anything, first of all, the, the, the 2,975, that's probably a conservative estimate. If anything, the, the, the government has, you know, stuck to an artificially low death toll of 64 people for, for really this past year. Uh, and it's only, and in fact, made, according to the researchers from Harvard, they said that the government made it difficult uh, for them to even get access to mortality statistics. It made their survey all the more difficult. The government of Puerto Rico did support this GW study, and, and the governor has made this the the, uh, the official death toll. Um, but it, it's, you know, t the idea that this is a number that just has come out of the blue, I mean, this is, this is a, a legitimate scientific study, uh, and there have been other surveys and other reporting that back it up. Not only, not only that, Anderson, there's one data point that unless the president wants to call FEMA a group of bunch of liars, he cannot deny FEMA received in the past month 2,471 um, applications for funeral assistance. So at least they have to acknowledge 2,471 deaths. Now, to add insult to injury in this unsung success fantasy book that the president is trying to write, FEMA only approved 75 of those applications for funeral assistance from the 2,471 that people applied for. So if he doesn't want to believe the 2,975 from George Washington University, and he doesn't want to believe the uh, more than 3,000 from Harvard University, he should at least understand that the fact that his own government processed 2,471 requests for funeral assistance from FEMA and approved only 75, that number should at least burn in his soul. Somebody should really, some of his advisors, somebody from the White House, should try and save the president from himself because he continues to dig himself into a hole. And again, in a day where all the attention should have been to Florence, he continues to try to be undignified by tweeting and bullying the people of Puerto Rico. Well, we will not stand for it. No. President has been delusional. He continues to be uh, harassing the people of Puerto Rico. And enough is enough.